This project was performed in partnership with AutoCam Medical located in Kentwood, Michigan. The project involves subcomponents of a cataract removal device. The components are currently assembled by hand, which can cause inaccuracies in the customer specifications. AutoCam Medical presented the idea of automating the assembly process of the robot. This would eliminate the human error involved and allows the parts to be assembled with more precision. The team decided to use a single arm robot to pick, place, thread, and torque the parts together to the required torque specification. Requirements of the project include a cycle time of 2.5 minutes or less, hold the customer torque specification plus or minus 2 inch pounds, fit in a 6 by 6 foot workspace, assemble at least 25 parts at a time, and be able to expand for future operations. These include integration with a laser welder and other part assemblies. The quality of the project performance can be measured by its ability to hold the initial specifications. The assembly cell can assemble up to 240 parts at a time, torque a part to the customer specification, fit in a 6 by 6 feet area, has room to integrate and expand for future operations, and achieves a cycle time shorter than 2.5 minutes. The operation sequence begins with picking the first component from a pallet and loading it into the torque station. The second component is picked from a separate pallet and is placed on top of the first component. The torque station spins and threads the components together for a set time. It will slow down and perform the final torque process and the assembled components are placed into another pallet to be welded. Challenges with the project components included the servo station, gripper design, long lead times and delays, and tabletop layout. The servo integration became a hurdle due to the software inexperience and difficult program integration. There were many part delays and long lead times for the electrical components, and the initial cell layout had to be changed due to an added sensor that limited the robot reach. A few redesigns of the end of arm tooling were required due to movement in the collaborative gripper when at full clamping force. The movement did not allow the critical torque process of the assembly to be performed. The final design of the tooling was a solid insert that removed play in the gripper and held the part firmly during the torque process.